My name's Carol Shelby, and performance is my business. What's up, legends? Um, this is this is a special one. I know you've just seen the intro to the video, so you know what we're talking about. I am so pumped. I've been lucky enough to film a lot of cool cars, but this is next level. So I'm gonna put the camera on my head right now, little GoPro, I'm gonna have the Harry Potter scar afterwards, and you're just gonna live this whole experience with me. Right here, we also oh. have, hello. Good to see you there, sir. Fancy seeing you there, wait. I just need to whack no this thing on. How, How are you? you? Very well, yourself? Is the angle okay? The angle is wonderful, yes. I'm just gonna have to bend down a little bit. Okay, if I put it you've up got, a bit like that. The, you've got there the you most go. important in there. Ford GT 40. Ford GT 40, yes. From Mr. Cedric Bootsen from Boots and Classic Cars. Yes, sir. Your Instagram's gonna be underneath. All the Instagrams will be underneath. Thank you, mate. We did a video with an AC Cobra. Indeed. Which was pretty exceptional. Yeah. But we're taking it to the next level now with this. Yeah. What so, is this? <laughs> okay, so simply put, this is a Ford GT40, the yeah. uh, most legendary car produced by Shelby. I mean, alongside the Cobra. Yeah. It's, uh, let's, should we open the hood very quickly? Yes, yes. So then we can talk straight away about the engine. This is the continuation model. Okay. So it's the 1968 MK1 model, the wide body. Okay. And it was built in 2017. So, but to okay. the exact specs. Because continuation mil means it's still built by Shelby. Exactly. So, okay. well, it can be built by others, but continuation basically means that it's an approved by Shelby car. Okay, yeah. So it has the stamp of approval, it has the chassis number that's super important. And basically. Oh. What what a piece of yeah, kit! Yeah, this is this is this is something else. So let's pop. pop Whoa! It so cool how they do that. Yeah. So here you have the 4.9 liter V8 engine. Yeah. So this pumps about 450 horsepower. Oh my the god! Car. You have look at a, that the gold leaf. Yeah. This is that that's isolation. Yeah. But because it gets very very hot in here. Yeah. Uh, basically, you have from zero to one hundred kilometers an hour. It's about sixty. Uh, sixty. What am I saying? Six seconds. Sorry. No. Which for the sixties? <laughs> yeah, exactly. For the sixties was insane. Uh, and let's not even talk about the top speed. But let's talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Three hundred kilometers an hour. Oh my! So. We're not going to be doing that today. Because ah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be driving this, guys. I'm gonna be driving this. And it is very particular, you have to get used to it. Yeah, Once you're used to it, fine to drive, but with all of these, I mean, it's a race car. Yeah, it's a race car that was homologated for the road. Yeah. But basically, this car was built initially to win races like Le Mans, Sebring. Yeah. It's a car that's meant to last long, but also yeah. it's a car that's here to, to, to break everything yeah, yeah, at the yeah. end of the race. Literally, you know? yeah, it's here to blow you away. And uh, we, I've actually, I had a quick little spin in it before we, we filmed this for the French channel. Wow! And 
and it's absurd. Not only that, I mean, it's beautiful. You've got uh, the attention to detail is nuts. I love these little air intakes yeah. here. I mean, these it's vents. exactly like the MK1. I yeah. use the MK1, basically. Yeah, yeah. So how do we close this this hood then? Okay, it's so right here. You put it in there exactly, and, and then you push up. push upwards. I'll let you. Right, so here. Oh, there you go. Okay, also oh, not too bad. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Wow, beautiful spec as well. It looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah, so we better get on the let's, road. Let's let's uh, let's do this. Oh my God, POV video driving a GT40. What oh. Beautiful doors. Suicide doors. Yeah, these these are the, um, I see why, because if you're tall, they'll literally decapitate you. Yeah. These are the famous for GT doors. This car has 100 miles? No, barely, oh yeah, 130 miles, exactly. I mean, it is. It is for sale. Yes, actually. very true. It's for sale. Uh, the current asking price for the curious ones on yeah, there yeah. is uh, 385. Thousand, thousand euros. euros okay with tax okay okay so okay got you the links will be down below yes exactly. so then if anyone's interested all links emails whatever you need if you want to buy yourself this which i would be very jealous of you if you do are down below to hop in first wait before just to show yeah. this car also comes with jackie x's that's yeah. a funny word to say so, x's yeah, jackie x's <laughs> signature uh, winner of the le mans everyone yeah. knows it's 68 and 69 Wow, um, legend, yeah, I mean, it was, absolute it was legend. It fitting that he signed the car. So, that, I mean, yeah, GT40 with Jackie's, ja ja I'm on first name basis, yeah, you see now. Of course. Jackie's signature. Right, I'm gonna whack the steering wheel off, which is pretty easy to do. You got the steering wheel in your hand right there, which pops, beautifully fits right in the dash. And then we hop in. Oh, the best part. The best part. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's not an easy one, but then once you're in... Now, the issue I have is I'm not the tallest person in the world. Yeah. You're very tall, which it's means the... to close the door... Oh, oh he, it hit you! It hit you! Oh, we're good though, we're good, we're good. Um, to... The opposite of my issue. Yeah, you're too tall. And I fit snug with the door, but the pedals are really far <laughs> for me, and the steering wheel's quite far when I pop it back on, so... Okay, that goes back on like... Is that on? No, that's not on. Go back. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now. Perfect. Okay, it's, it's, it's always positive when you've got a steering yeah. wheel which is actually <laughs> clamped on properly. Gonna close the door here. Oh, All right. Put your head down so you don't get decapitated. Yes, sir. Uh, can you see if the angle's okay? Let I think see. it looks okay. Oh, Wait, let's see. see oh, oh, yeah, yeah perfect. Beautiful. All right. It's always hard to know, guys, when you got a camera on your yeah. forehead. Oh, I had a funny story for you. Yo, yeah, well, tell uh, me. Along with the, uh, all the anecdotes that we came out with. Yeah. So you know the Shelby's, there were those different versions. So the 289. Okay. The 427 was the more aggressive looking one. Yeah. And then came the Daytona. And the Daytona was a car that won many, many races, even though it was built crazily by, by, yeah. this, by this Shelby engineer. Who really put a flat back to make it really like uh, aerodynamic yeah, it's yeah. A, in a different manner than the old ones. Nobody believed him. He believed in his dream, got it done, made the car. The car was pushing like crazy. It was beating most of the 250s and things oh like that, God, like yeah. the Ferraris. And uh, this car came out. The Ford GT40 came out after. This car basically came in, swooped like all the titles it had to do. It won everything basically. Yeah, yeah exactly. And the Daytona, Shelby, only built six of them. These oh, wow. cars, they were going to be... Uh, th he had them in Europe because they okay. were racing yeah. in Europe. What Shelby wanted to do was take those cars and throw them in the ocean as he was going back to America because he didn't want to pay the import tax on them. No. <laughs> what did he do? He then took them to America, paid the import tax, sold the lot of the six of them for $25,000. <gasps> Guess how much one is worth today? A, a million? $20 million. Oh <laughs> my, God. whoever, that is the best deal of all time, yeah. whoever got that. Yeah, someone bought one, I think it was in 2008, for $7 million. Oh and my And that's God. already a super good deal. Yeah, yeah. That's you're, the last oh, one to be sold. You're quite bargain price. <laughs> of course. But yeah, that's the last one to be sold that we know of to date. That's nuts. And there's still six of them uh, somewhere. Because the GT40s, I mean, the original originals sell oh, for crazy money. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of cool, how it's right-hand drive and I've got the... Yeah. 
the uh, yeah, the uh, gear shifter yeah, exactly. over here. You've got the gear shifter on the right. Uh, it's you know it's. It, it takes some getting used to. So it's down. Oh, is there someone behind us? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to start up. Yeah, don't worry. Isn't this wonderful? Oh, that noise! <laughs> that noise! Nice and snug to the left. I got confused at some points when I was driving with him on, on the, the shifting. Yeah, the shifting Sometimes, is confusing. Yeah. I can't tell how wide it is around back. You are good to go, I would say. I'll let, I might let this person pass. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, you feel the heat emanating from the motor right behind Straight it. Straight away, so yeah. It's a beautiful thing, but it's a hot thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's going to get pretty steamy in here. Guys, it takes some getting used to this car, so don't blame me if it's not ideal at first. Can I go? Yeah, go for it. You're good. And we're off. And we're off without stalling or anything, <laughs> which is good. There's a light here. It's, uh, the, it's, that, uh, no, it's the indicator. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Engine failure. <laughs> Engine failure, imagine. No, no, you're good. Whoa. It's the white body, the MK1. Oh, yes. Oh, it sounds good. <laughs> it sounds good. Obviously, guys, this is a very particular car, so it's not going to be any crazy driving today. It's wide, it's loud, it's old school. The gears, are they just take so much getting used to. <laughs> but that noise, I have no idea if you'll hear me. That noise. It's a race car. It's such a race car. You feel everything through the steering wheel. The throttle pedal takes a lot of getting used to because it's it's quite hard at first but then once you get used to it it then gives you everything so what? you need to be a little bit careful because 450 horsepower oh, yeah. with a heavy heavy engine yeah, and quite a light front end yes absolutely it's the car in itself is about 1100 kilos so, 1100 yeah exactly so it's, mo it's mostly lighter than the cars today yeah but it's good in the back wow it's popping yeah. there's probably flames coming wow. out the back it must be so beautiful from behind yeah whoever's following us is having a great time yeah. it gets so much attention because it's such a legendary design We'll let these cars go a bit ahead. See what I mean? It at slow speed, it doesn't like it, does she's, it? She's asking you to go up. And yeah. Up. She's she's literally begging for it. You have to. At slow speed, yeah. it's just it's not having any fun. All right, we can have a little acceleration, guys. This thing, it's literally, I have no words. Cedric, thank you. Boots and classic cars. Oh my God. It's a real pleasure, Seth. No, it's so, so cool. The visibility is not the best if you compare it to modern day cars. Yeah. It's hard to judge how wide the, it is. Oh, do we have a traffic jam? How is it in traffic jams? Oh, I think it just, you know, consumes fuel at this yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, it's got a hole in the fuel tank, yeah, but exactly. apart from that... In both fuel tanks. Oh, uh, because, yeah, it has two fuel tanks. That's why you got two filler caps around yeah. front. But, I mean, For the better weight repetition. Basically. It's crazy how wide it is compared yeah. to where you're sat. Yay! <laughs> I'm, woo, we're getting there. Uh -huh. Guys, this is one of the trickiest cars to get going. It really is, but only when. Oh, oh this oh, is going to be tricky. This is going to be a fun one. This the turning circle where it's a race car, so the turning circle. I think there was another GT40 causing the traffic jam before. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably. Uh, are we going to make this? I, uh, <laughs> 
Oh, nice and snug. Hey, you're good, you're good, you're good. You think? Yeah, you're good. Oh, what are you trying, my friend? Hey. Oh. oh, no, we're good. Hey. We're good. Hey. Here we go. It's impossible to talk when you're accelerating because there's so much going on. It's the ZR gearbox. Yeah. Five speed. Yeah. It's really, really immaculate. The yeah. Machine. Once you're once you're going, it really is. Here we go now. You hear everything. If there's a stone which touches oh, the yeah. car anywhere, you'll hear it. I mean, this GT2 RS. Yeah. That's pretty badass. Pleasant. Okay, back into bloody first gear. <laughs> and we've made it. We've done it. Let's go. Oh, now we get sending. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. Unbelievable. It's not warm outside, but I could do with being in a t-shirt right now. Yeah. Whoa. I'm literally never, they can't hear me. <laughs> I don't even know they'll hear Yeah, I can't yeah. speak because I don't know if they're going to hear anything. I'm never really speechless, like I always kind of have something to say, mm -hmm. but this is... Uh, it, I just want to enjoy the experience. The pleasure. Yeah. Take in the experience that you're uh, one with your car. Exactly. A bloody 4 GT! <laughs> That's wanting to have some fun and follow us. Oh, no. <laughs> as long as it's not a police motorbike, we're good. Uh, What an experience, man. What an experience. We had a good time, didn't we? Oh my god. <laughs> Listen to this, guys. Ready? Push it, push it. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god. Whoa! Ah, <laughs> oh, mate. Nice one, man. Unreal. See what, Amazing, huh? see what I mean when I was saying it's hard to drive. I don't want to drive it anymore. I'm yeah. scared, I'm scared. Dude, dude, it yes. is, it's like the hill starts, but it is amazing. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It is unbelievable, but the first gear hill starts are, are tricky. Yeah. True race car. But True if you, race car. If you, if you spend like a full day with this car, yeah, yeah then sure, you're used I'm to sure it. I'm sure you're fine. For sure. first time driving it too, Cedric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, man. I can send the race cars, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the blood. No, it's <laughs> unbelievable. It's once you're once you're like started, unbelievable. But also, I mean, even getting starting. But a bit like, is it a bit like the Cobra when like you have the volume meter on your foot? Like, it's like no, you know, different level. Different. Yeah, different. Uh, different level. Oh, different wow. level. Is this car just like the co the co the Cobra off. feels? <laughs> yeah, just casually take <laughs> the wheel off. The Cobra feels. Um, now, if you drive the Cobra. Oh, it's like easy game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Easy drive, money. It's like it's like driving a uh, polo compared to this. Oh, look at you just come out of a spaceship, man. It is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much. Of course, man. Guys, My pleasure. thank you. You know that the way uh, the way that we thank anyone who lends us a car is by going and supporting them on My Hair Is Probably. Look, do I have the Harry Potter scar? <laughs> <laughs> horizontal yeah. Harry Potter. Yeah. You know that we go uh, follow their Instagrams, go see all the links, all that stuff. But this has been an unbelievable experience. So thank you. Of course. Thank all of you guys for the shots. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.